We've known for some time that where you live influences how long you'll live and how well you live. We also know that it's not as much what makes up your genetic code, but your zip code of where you live. What does it mean to live along the fourth plane corridor? For some it means less access to healthy food, fewer places for their kids to go out and play safely. There are areas where there's graffiti, gang activity. Visually, people judge a community by what they see rather than by the people who live there. And uh, when people see things, they assume things, and that's what we don't want. We want people to look and, and see beyond maybe some old paint and some, some weeds and look at the people who are living and working here every day. Here we have a garden that was made by volunteers, uh, contributed from a local business, that one that we, we came together and built from the ground up. And it just kind of gives a place that people can come and have unity. We do classes once a month. This last class we had a gentleman who walked from 107th and Mill Plain wow. to 28th and Grand. That's, that's the heart of it, is mm -hmm. to get good nutrition out to everybody and make it accessible. One of the things that we felt was important in doing neighborhood revitalization, and that's the focus of Americans Building Community, is to give people a place to connect with one another. And we've been privileged to have the Latino populace here to show us some, some new things that we haven't done before. Mm -hmm. I so. run into him all the time. He's, I mean, he's become my friend. Mm -hmm. You don't need to speak the same language to communicate. Right. And that's what I love about the gardens brought everybody together. Pickling cucumbers, cucumbers. Oh, gracias, gracias. Oh, thank you. You know, what is it about a place that really lifts people up when they realize that they have a connection. Each of us have something to offer the other person. I'm grateful that I can have my garden. It's like a stress release. <laughs> so it's, it's efforts like this that begin to renew us to create more places for healthy food, more places for kids to play safely. I'm really grateful to the Walmart Foundation for their generous grant that helped fund a majority of the startup and then also well, this year in addition to the support from Clark County Public Health is helping make possible oh. the um, the garden ambassador and the garden manager that are not only at this site but also at our other um, garden sites. But making change toward equity cannot happen without a continued effort from our community partners, our faith partners, our businesses. And we drove through a couple of different neighborhoods and we drove through and we got to experience, we got to see some things that we don't necessarily like, some graffiti. We got to see some rundown places and we try to look beyond them and look at the people who are trying to make it better. I definitely want to show you this. This is a one of our community gardens. This is incredible and it's exactly what we're talking about in this project. People want to engage. They have the skills to engage. They often don't have the opportunity to engage with each other. I hope that we're able to truly embrace this opportunity. And I hope we can find ways to provide more opportunity. When people are ready and willing. All they need is the opportunity to do so. And we believe that as we work together that we will make these places that have a little bit less and give them a little bit more so that we can be healthy, safe, and have a great community that we can be proud of.